Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh ooh. I said cognac, ooh ooh ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. for Christmas and I'm here with these two important people that came to talk about what they're involved in doing. They're working on a project together. Introduce yourself to the camera. Hi, I'm Marla Mace. Tomas Donker. Tell my audience about the two of you, how you met and what you're working on. Well, we're working on a a rock and roll musical that I that I wrote. It's called A Brief Night Out and um, we met because I um, Originally it was a play, and then I just started writing some music and lyrics to it, and I don't play an instrument, so I had to find a musician that would help me. And, and he's your recommend. musician, right? He's more than the musician. He's great. I mean, he's, he's co-writer of the music, produced the CD, musical director. I'm very lucky. Now, how did you guys meet? Well, a mutual friend of ours um, who I had worked with before, uh, suggested that we meet. It was that simple. And um, so we sat down and Marla showed me some of her stuff, which was pretty impressive. And uh, I was immediately in. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm in. I get it. You know, so. Tell my audience about this whole concept, about the whole story behind this musical rock okay. thing that you've created. OK, well, it's. Um, the story is, it actually started from a longer play I wrote called Man Woman, which was a story about a woman having an affair. Um, this is a smaller version of it, and that's why it's called A Brief Night Out. And it's a story of a, a woman having an affair, but she's also, and it's, it's all scenes with her therapist. So it's kind of like, it's not a one, it's kind of a one woman show, but it's half, because there's a, another character who's the therapist character who's amazing. And, uh, and then there's the band. So basically, but the story is about this woman, she's kind of neurotic, she has, you know, and she's having this affair, and she's going crazy, and her, and her lover is, so she's obsessed with addiction also, because her lover's an addict, and she's obsessed with war, and her therapist just thinks she's crazy. I love the story. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Yeah, it's great, it's very, it's actually very, it's pretty funny, but also has a punch, I mean, it has a serious... Now you've uh, studied music, you're really, you really are writer of music. Am I right about no, that? No, no, I'm actually not. I'm a writer. I'm a poet. I'm a writer. I'm a playwright. And I just started writing music um, the last couple of years. It's started... a different twist for you from doing yeah. what you normally have done. And you I, love it, I always right? knew I was a rock star. So Eric, you, you and, you, and you love music. Tell my audience where you've studied and where you learned <laughs> your craft. Well, I mean, I've been around uh, the scene here in New York for, for a while, globally as well, and um, just playing in different bands, you know, touring, producing, working with a lot of, you know, New York City bands, let's put it that way. Not nowhere else? I mean, you haven't well, yeah, traveled? No. You, I, you, know, you sound like you've been all over the country, uh, even like no, let me just down south. I just got back from Shanghai about a month ago. How exciting! What was that like? Pretty amazing, pretty amazing. I mean, they, um, they're they opening their eyes and ears to Western culture now. I guess everyone sort of knows that's what's going on. So, I mean, they treated us like we were the Beatles over there. It was pretty amazing. Oh, that's <laughs> where you have to go, yeah. to the Orient, yeah. right? Asia. Yeah, they, they, they love it. They love American music. Yeah. They really do. They really loved it. You know, we had a ball, and uh, we headlined the the first Shanghai Performing Arts Festival, and we also played at the uh, the World Expo that's over there right now. We did six shows at the World Expo, which was just amazing, just amazing. Yeah, he's also going to St. Bart's in, in a few days for three weeks to perform. Well, that sounds that's like right. fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. Now tell my audience about this whole thing that you've created. Where, will, where can we see it? 
Well, you can see it. First of all, the CD was just released. I just released the CD because I have a soundtrack to the show. Um, here's the back. That's great. It's a great. It's a great CD. It's very. Uh, it's definitely. It's kick ass. It is definitely kick ass. And the it looks like a kick ass. It is kick ass. I'm very kick ass. Let's see if we get a close up of this. Let's see if I'm kind of nice wild. I have to say, I'm wild. I may not seem wild right now, but I'm kind of wild. I'm a little wild. Well, the CD is beautiful. I love the way you look on the back of the thank CD. You. This looks incredible. Yeah, some people. Thank you. Some people think I look like I'm really pissed off there, but I don't think so. No, I like. I think yeah. you look good there. You uh, look really good. I think so. Tell me. Anyway, but the show. Hopefully January, February, because I'm now re... I will be putting it up again in January, February. I'm just fi I'm finalizing the dates now, because there's a couple of uh, pieces I want to add to it. And, uh, and then it, when they're back, because they're away, the band is away, and the uh, other actor is also... He's a Broadway veteran, and he's an amazing singer, but he's doing a show right now. So when everyone's back, we're going to go up. Fantastic. Yes. Tell my audience, where can they go to find out more information about you and you working together on this fabulous project. Okay. Well, I can go to uh, my website, marlamace.com, M-A-S-E, Marla Mace. <laughs> um, and you can Google me. I come up in a lot of places, uh, YouTube. I'm on CD Baby. I'm on indie, radio indie stations. And there's a lot of stuff about there. And I blog. You can see everything. You'll know my whole life story. Bye. And you, darling, where can they go to find out more information about you as a musician? Just go to TomasDonker.net, T-O-M-A-S-D-O-N-C-K-E-R.net. Terrific. I'll be looking forward to this in January. Thank you, Thank you. We'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews coming up right here at the Pearl Lounge for our festive Christmas holiday event, Pink Champagne Kisses. I mean, I love the frameless lens. I love how comfortable they are. Everyone was so super amazing. fabulous. Let's go with, um, oh, oh wow. my God. The Jersey Shore has nothing on this one. She's so amazing. I adore her. Oh my God. Oh. My new silhouettes. I just love my new silhouettes. Oh. No, my darling. Yes. Tell my audience one more time the website. It's silhouettes, uh, silhouettes.com. We're here at the Pearl Lounge, located on Chelsea, for our festive Christmas holiday party. And I'm here with this little sexy guy, and he's going to tell us what he's up to. Introduce yourself, darling. All right, everybody. I'm Alberto Bonilla. I'm a New York director, producer, and writer. Uh, next uh, year, I'm directing uh, six shows uh, all over town. Uh, in January, February, I'm directing Dolores in North of Providence by Edward Allen Baker. Uh, I'm also directing Three Sisters out in uh, the Secret Theater. Uh, I have uh, two films uh, I've got done. I've just finished my uh, screenplay, Walking to America, and hopefully uh, for my other film, uh, Speed of Love, we'll hopefully get into Tribeca. We didn't get into Sundance, though. Mm, well, you have right. to keep working on that. Yeah, I know, I know. But so, Tribeca is uh, very lovely. Oh, I, yeah, I, awesome. I, I like. Have you approached the Hamptons? Because I'm have big not. in the Hamptons. I have not. The we'll Hamptons. go to the Hamptons. The Hamptons. I've never been to the Hamptons. Oh my God, I'm I'm queen of the Hamptons. <laughs> I have Cognac, no doubt that you're queen of the Hamptons. Cognac is queen of the Hamptons. Smile. <laughs> I, I visited well, them to, all. I'm, I'm I get to gonna, be the best. To, I'm going to have to go up to the Hamptons then. And you see have to the check Hamptons. out what I've done in the Hamptons. I've interviewed Pierce Brosnan, Alec Baldwin, lots of big stars, lots of big stars. And Marcia now Gahane. I am one of those in, in the league yes. of those guys. Now let me ask you, sure. you're a film director, yes. but you've also done work in the theater. Yes. What do you really love? Do you love the theater more? 
more do you like film more? Well, I like the different elements that I like about, what I love about film is that what you do lasts forever. So four years from now, I can look at one of my films that I've done before, and it's, and it's the same thing, and I can have you know, wonderful moments of that. But at the same time, I like theater for the very opposite reason, that it only happens once. So once you see it, it's like a gift you give to the audience. And that audience alone is going to experience that, that performance. And so I kind of like them both for different reasons. Yeah, I agree with you. Do you study old films? Are you like a historian? Do you like to study well, I have techniques? I, yes, I have studied. I, I also actually, I also, uh, I'm a director of uh, film and television at the Maggie Flanagan Studio here in Manhattan. And uh, so I constantly am teaching film technique and uh, getting young actors to go ahead and get out, commercial techniques, sitcom, soap, and all of that stuff. So yeah, I do study it. And what's wonderful about that is that I can actually go ahead and actually put to use what I'm using on set right into the classroom. So they get like a real world experience on that. So. Well, I have to tell you, I love the history of film. And I recently met uh, Robert Osborne. You oh, know, nice. from yes. Yes. Turn to Classic Movies. Yes, he's my favorite. Oh, my God. God, he is, he is such I think a so charming. wonderful, distinguished, charming I think gentleman. he's so charming. I, tr I actually invited him to come tonight. Oh, And he almost, he no, he almost did come, but he had an, an, another engagement in Hollywood. Well, we can't all be in New York, can we? Yes. Someone's got to be in Hollywood, right? He's in Hollywood right now. <laughs> It's okay, but I love no, I love I love his uh, segment that he always does whenever you watch. So the film. do I. Because you get like a little bit of the history, and he always comes well, out he with is some. He's a historian. Yeah, he always comes out with some fact that I had no idea about. You know. I know, and it's amazing that he, you know, he was an actor. I don't know if you know this. No. He was really? a very famous act. Well, I would say famous, but he, he appeared with many famous actors. And Lucio Ball told him, oh. "You're much better as." I love Lucio a, Ball. A, a host. Uh huh. A journalist and a historian. She told him to become a, a film historian because wow. he had such a passion for He's got a great film. voice, too. He's got that great voice. But it's so funny, after every time I see a film, I'm like, I wait till the end of the credits just to hear what he's going to say because he's going to throw some amazing fact out that, you know, you have no idea about. I'm like, oh, I didn't know that about that film or whatever. Tell me, darling, what are you working on next besides getting into the uh, the Sundance Film Festival? Uh, are you talking writing, directing, or acting? Your latest project. My latest, latest. Uh, on the writing front, I'm writing a, uh, a play, which is actually, it's going to be a screenplay, but it's about uh, all the problems that are happening in Arizona. It's called Hunting Ewoks. Uh, it's uh, basically the story of a cop having to enforce these new laws. Uh, I have a kind of an inside source, so it's based on all real events. And as far as directing is North of Providence and Dolores. That's going to be at Latea in February, January, February. So be on the lookout of that, Lower East Side. And uh, that's the directing front. And I'm also directing um, uh, Three Sisters. So I've got a lot going on. I don't sleep much. It's really. I don't either. I no. don't either. I imagine with all these people coming to interview. I, I, I'm, I'm usually working on my next event, editing. And, uh, oh, you edit? I do my own editing. Really? Do you edit your own videos? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Did you take a look at what I do? Have you looked at it? No, my press agent was like, you have to go to this. I'm like, of course I'll go, yes. And then I see you over here. I'm like, I want to get over there and be interviewed with that lady there. And I was so excited. So I'm here. We're in, in the midst of everything. We're in the midst of all of it. I want you to tell my audience, where can they go to find out more information about you as a director, actor, filmmaker, everything? They can go to my website, albertobonilla.com, or they can just IMDB me and Google me. I, I show up all over Google now. Uh, it's kind of crazy now that you show up. It used to be a lot tougher to get your name out, but now it's like, you know, you can't do anything in this town without getting Googled. Well, it's kind of fun. Listen, you've established yourself, so now people know who you are. So it's expected, darling. I hope that's a good thing. <laughs> it's expected. Tell my audience one more time the website. AlbertoBonilla.com. Spell it. A-L-B-R-T-O-B-O-N-I-L-L-A. -L -L -A. And if you want to see any of my uh, upcoming productions, they're at Latea and also uh, the Secret Theater. And hopefully, and hopefully, try back up. Let's so. toast. Let's toast. To you, my darling. To the holidays and to showbiz. There you go. There's no people like us. Mm. Mm. We'll be back in a moment.
Darlings with more interviews, more celebrities right here at the Pearl Lounge Stay in tuned. Chelsea. Don't change the channel. Stay tuned. Big champagne kiss. to impress one of a kind girl. This has been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.